Hello, welcome to the SolidWorks video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to work with the blocks inside a SolidWorks. So, in order to and first understand the blocks, uh, let's first understand where the blocks are situated inside the SolidWorks. So, you can go to the tools, and inside the tools, you can see the the blocks menu, and inside that block menu, you can see different different options like make, edit, insert, add, and remove entities rebuild save and explode block options so we will see and try to understand all these options one by one so let's first create a sketch and let's try to save that as a block so we are in this we are not in the sketching mode so let's select a front plane let's enter into the sketching mode now we'll try to sketch a rectangle with its dimension 100 and 150 mm Again, we'll place this circle at its center of 50 mm diameter. We'll try to remove these diagonal lines, which are construction line. We'll try to fully define this geometry. So in this way we can fully define but the circle is still undefined so we can do we can select the circle and the point and we can set concentric relationship you can see now it is fully defined now the next thing that we can do is we can save this sketch as a block sketch now in order to do that you have to first select all the entire sketch and you can get that make block option now make block option is also available through the commands that is we can search block and the very first option that is this option you can select now you can see that when I select this option it automatically highlights block option at the left of my browser and we can see the different different option like make block edit block insert block and explode block and all now let's try to save this entity sketch as a block so we'll select this and we'll select this make block option now you can see now we have such as a save this entity as a block now we can now uh, complete the sketch now we can see that we have sa saved this entity as a or save this sketch as a block now we can again perform feature operations on this sketch like extrude and you can see that we can perform where we are able to perform all these operations so in this way we can perform extrude and many operations through the feature commands or feature menu bar can be performed on this sketch or blocks but i will delete this operation first of all and now you can see this sketch as a block sketch now i will try to save this block sketch okay so here you can see that is insert block option okay and you can also see this block you can right click on this block option and you can see here save block option now when you save this block you can see the browser opens and now inside that we can save this i have already saved the block 1 and block 2 now i will save it as block 3 so here this is my block 3 okay now i will try to open a new file again so it will be a part file now again i am in sketching mode now i will try to export that block inside my sketch so i will again go to the insert block okay then i have to browse the block so you have to go to the browse and from the desktop you can select my block 3 
we can open that and you can see now i am able to place that block n number of times inside my sketch so in this way we can make use of blocks to to be placed in new sketches and to use them again and again so the, we have seen the two operation that is make block and insert block now we'll try to understand how we can edit this block suppose i will select this block and now you can see that block 3 is active and you can click this edit block option and in this way you can edit this block okay so you can modify this dimension if you want and uh, so on we are able to edit this also you can see other options that are uh, available that is add and remove so you can also add and remove the sketch entities that you want to remove or add from this sketch you can see the rebuild so in this way we can also update the parent sketches that are updated by this block now we will perform some operations from the edit block suppose i want to edit this dimension to be 200 okay so you can see it has been modified and again you can i want this to be 150 and again i want this circle this length to be 100 and uh, this distance to be 75 and i want to now save this so you can click here and now you can see the block has been modified now all this block were belonging to the same block so you can see once you modify this block the other blocks are also modified because they belong to the same primary entity so in this way we can work with the blocks also you can see insert block options again we if you have another block then we can also insert through this suppose i have this block one which i have saved earlier so this is my sketch some something like this i have made earlier so in this way we can paste that and we can click ok once we are done so you can see the different blocks that i have inserted inside my sketch now you can also explode block so what do you mean by explode block when you select explode block that block will be now no longer will be block means it will be now a sketch okay so you can select this and you can see the option that is explode block so once you made this as explode block you can see that the one block the block 3 is no uh, available over here and that is now made as a sketch and now you can edit this as you want so in this way we can explore the block here you can see uh, save sketch as a block so suppose i want to again i will again select this okay and i will again click this now again i can save this sketch as again as a block suppose this is some block 4 so in this way we can work with the blocks that's all in this video tutorial. In our upcoming video tutorials, we are going to see more tutorials on SOLIDWORKS. That's all. Thank you.